Takumi? Takumi! Where is he? He is supposed to start the intro, but oh well. That is to be my boyfriend. William Honey, where are you? Takumi was supposed to be in the intro as usual in the last three days, but I couldn't find him. I'll meet you there so we can start the educational episode. All right, honey. Oh, well. I don't know much about American history, but Dakota here has some knowledge. Hello, William. Looks like you need some drama city history knowledge, mate. Have a seat. The Republic of Drama City first started with Mother Nature's creation of the archipelago. No one colonized the islands until the Americans arrived in the early 1920s and discovered the islands. The islands didn't have an official name, but many were considered, such as the Lincoln Islands or Monroe Island. Americans were confused by then, until August 27, 1926, when General Liam Hutchings found the perfect name. What was the name, Dakota? Good question. It was called the Lincoln Islands and was formerly an American territory, which would soon become a U.S. Commonwealth. The population at that time was 400. In the 1930s, people were seeking to explore other islands that they never explored yet, and so came multiple American ships. As the population began to grow, World War II struck, and the United States didn't join the war. This didn't initially affect Lincoln Island, but people were still having their peaceful lives. After imperialist Japan took parts of China, the Philippines, and parts of Asia, and bombed Pearl Harbor, Japanese forces also took parts of Lincoln Island and claimed it, as well as Wilhelm, Horatia, by force. This resulted in the United States declaring war against Japan and the Axis powers. America liberated the Philippines and Horatia and took several islands including Lincoln Island from Japanese rule. After the U.S. recaptured control of Lincoln Island and took some Japanese possessions, Lincoln Island became a commonwealth again, and then they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, ending the World War. The Japanese surrendered, but they had families on Lincoln Island so the Americans decided to give the Japanese fair and equal treatment, given that they were not there to commit violence, but rather have a new life and live in peace. Relations between Japan and the United States began to improve and were able to recover from the war. Oh, and don't forget, Horashi made peace with Japan as well. You are correct, but we're talking about Drama City. In 1954, the United States enforced the Lincoln Islands Act, which served as a pathway to independence as an effort of decolonization. President Eisenhower signed it into law after a bill was passed through Congress. But are they going to call it Drama City at that time, before independence? Not yet. The population grew from 1,000 to over 8,000, which later caused problems in the island, ranging from poor education to inequality and worsened living conditions and the standard of living. Seeing the people of Lincoln Island fed up with being part of the U.S., despite the residents being both U.S. and Japanese citizens, they were met with protests, but the Commonwealth Plan, which was expected to give the island independence by 1964, was then delayed by President Lyndon B. Johnson. He was the president after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. If Kennedy were to be president then they would have got the independence earlier. The reasons for the delay are controversial. President Johnson stated that he wanted to allow the U.S. more time to share resources, funding, and all the basic needs for Lincoln Island to become a stable, future-developed country. And on August 10, 1974, Lincoln Island will soon become declare independence by the name of Republic of Lincoln in tribute to the former U.S. President, Abraham Lincoln. Were they richer during the independence era? I wonder how the country made new developments after independence. Was there a formal education system among other things? At that time, yes. It was more traditional, and they would have been a unique UN member state. But growing calls to increase the economy of the island were complex. A person by the name of David Roderick Blythe Jr. had an idea. Then he flew to the United States to explore various methods of entertainment. He had an idea, bringing competition to the entire country. Authorities were baffled by the idea and were confused but the economy in Lincoln Island didn't improve and was slow at that time, which led to protests and demonstrations. 
The education system was also showing signs of failure and kids weren't adequately educated enough, which resulted in rising calls and increased cases of their citizens returning to their countries of birth. Blythe returned to Lincoln Island from the U.S. in 1989 and later brainstormed an idea for reforms of the new country and the new constitution and forming a new republic. Political analyst Judith Cosgrave and two of Blythe's friends came up with a new way to determine what the new government would look like. But where are they going to learn and get a good education? That's really sad for the kids seeking formal education. If they abolished the school system, where are the kids going to get a formal education? They have to return to their country of citizenship. Japanese families and American families who have kids had to leave. So in 1990, the government formally abolished the education system, which required families of children to head to their home countries for a formal education. In 1992, the country experienced a major change. Lincoln Island now becomes Drama City, which is still named and known today. They also updated and revamped the constitution. And this was not yet successful, Blythe's idea needed work. The initial phase of the new constitution first started with a first season. It all started with 100 contestants. So they started sending invites to those from the US and Japan to participate in such events. The first season only had 285 applicants and only 120 were accepted. There was limited access to TV and electronics at that time. So they had to go through traditional methods to increase trade between Drama City and both the United States and Japan. It was successful, although met with significant improvements thanks to the increased trade and miracles. In 1994, the Drama International Airport opened to the public. The 1997 season improved by a bit, but with a growing influence on computers, television, and communications materials, further expanding applications from other countries and the competition. As a result, more and more non-Americans and non-Japanese successfully made it to the competition while increasing jobs. The population at that time fell to 3,000, mainly due to families with children leaving. Then the 1997 season became the first season to reach the new million. And then 9-11 struck not just the United States, but also the world. This resulted in heightened security at Drama International Airport with stringent security and safety. Were there any more seasons after 1997? Yes. This resulted in the creation of new game tactics, new laws, new jobs, and new opportunities for Drama City, and the expansion of the internet. Drama City is now in the stage of an economic miracle, which has benefits for the country. Due to increased international trade and commerce in the country, and expanded jobs and support for the country, Drama City increased tourism and job opportunities. Well, I think that's just it. Sorry this took you guys a bit longer. What's the ruckus? Hello, I'm Dakota. And I'm Victoria. I'm Takumi. Well, I guess you contestants know each other by now. You were going to tell us about the history while you're here, but it looks like Dakota had it covered, despite us being in opposing teams. I don't know how am I gonna say this. Well, I guess that concludes this four-episode series, and that's life in Drama City for you. Well, now you know it. You have taught the viewers everything, even if the specific details are not mentioned, and not all content is covered. At least you have some insight into what Drama City looks like to the public. Do you guys have anything else to say for future to be contestants? For new people to become to be contestants, it would be better to refer to this mini series so you know what life is like in Drama City. However, not all content can be covered, but once you enter this competitive environment, you will learn about the environment and the lifestyle. With the growing presence of social media and interconnectedness, Drama City has grown rapidly in popularity but also increased tensions and dramas within the season. Our season will stand out more compared to previous seasons, where you, as a contestant, show the world you can be the best version of yourself, even if it's competitive and controversial. And remember, everyone in Drama City has flaws. I can do it. Honestly, that was the best lesson you can come up with. That's the spirit. It's official. You guys are officially the contestants of the 2024 season since March 3rd. You have the resources, and I heard you guys have an upcoming contest that requires you to answer the exam questions for the team.
I have faith in you all. Good luck. Ali, let's get studying. Sure.